9th. It's Sunday the 9th of February and I guess I'm starting to like get really frustrated if things aren't moving along at a real steady fast pace. Um, I've noticed that I've been experiencing more pain the past couple days is really shitty. I'm hoping it's because like feelings coming back on my face but I've had to take more Panadol recently. I also haven't been sleeping that well. I think it's a combination of the fact that it's really hot at the moment in Melbourne. Right now yeah like I'm hot. <laughs> I think it's been like 30 degrees and above recently. Other than that I've been waking up because I feel hungry or because I'm in pain or I'm dehydrated maybe. Usually after like five or six hours of sleeping I'd say because you know when you wake up and you're exhausted that's been happening to me lots and I know that when I wake up generally since surgery it's just been like the worst time because you generally just feel most uncomfortable like your jaw feels most uncomfortable when you wake up from like a night's sleep or a nap and now after you have a bit of water and a bit of food and you start moving it a little bit it feels a little bit better but yeah I'm like so sick of eating like eating and then having to brush my teeth after like two weeks of that I kind of just got to a point where I was like I don't feel like eating and I think I wasn't eating enough I'd get really hungry and be like oh I can't be bothered eating because I gotta go brush my teeth and then that's gonna take another like so like, it, like so at night when I've got to do the whole thing in between each brace and everything and then the wash and I reckon all of it takes like 20 minutes it's just like brushing your teeth four times a day is time consuming let me tell you uh, so I'm still brushing my teeth with like a baby toothbrush or I could probably I mean the toothbrushes that the orthodontists give you I generally have pretty small heads so I can fit them in my mouth and I've also been rinsing with warm water and salt water at least every time I eat and then some like maybe just randomly I'll do it because I haven't like eaten for a while but I feel like I need to wash my mouth and I've been like extra careful ever since that jaw bone popped its little face at me yeah that wasn't fun it's gone back into hiding I think or at least it started to to be honest it's terrible but I'm kind of scared to look a little bit I put it off but I have I've seen I saw it last night and I was like oh I can like barely even see any bone now so it's good I had a headache pretty much all today I think it's just because I'm tired but like I said I've been experiencing more pain like in my gums and I've noticed that like my teeth and gums here are like aching like I took Panadol like two hours ago or something two and a half hours ago and it's like it's like barely done anything um I'm worried that I've been taking too much Panadol not that I think I've been taking many painkillers at all like I stopped Endone after like three days I don't know it's been pretty much just Panadol and I was pretty good for a few days and now I've been using it a little bit more but hopefully that goes away. I've noticed there's a little bit of clicking going on like right now. Opening the mouth it's like click 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 but like really soft. Comes and goes. The thing that I'm most concerned about which I hope is like all gonna be fine and I've kind of been reassured that it's all gonna be fine is that my teeth don't actually come together. And I think it's just the nature of how they set my teeth up prior to surgery. I'm sure I've discussed this many times in previous videos, but I think that's the thing that's most freaking me out is that like I bite it down and my teeth touch on that side, but I don't think they touch on that side. Um, <sighs> but everyone was really happy with how things went. My orthodontist even saw me and he was like, oh yeah, you're buying down that side, that'll, that'll settle out, it'll be fine. So hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> Feeling in my face, pretty much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere, I can feel everywhere. There's tingling, a little bit of tingling. I'm mainly numb here and there. The and the. The most annoying thing is like right now, for example, I have an itch right here and you, you can't scratch it. Like no matter how hard you try, 
you can't relieve the itch you're feeling. But I guess that just is what, you, what you're dealing with while you got a slightly numb face. I think they must have gone like deep on the side kind of to like cut me and If I put my tongue right at the back, like past my teeth on the top, it's like a, like a groove, like a hole that's kind of like closed, I hope, I think, I guess. I think there's a stitch in there. I'm hoping it's a stitch and not food. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a stitch because I've been like brushing heaps four times a day, remember? Yeah, so this, um, this thing, has just kind of like been on my mind. The thing is like, when I go to see my surgeon, it's not as though he like looks in my mouth unless I tell him that something's wrong. So I kind of like want him to just like look at my mouth and look at all my stitches and like, it's not good to poke around, but I kind of want him to like poke around and be like, yeah, you're good, everything's great. Still feel really puffy here, like real puffy. Like that feels so weird. It's literally like I'm touching the surface of a kind of deflated balloon. But not much, still pretty firm. Yeah, this is probably the main area that's shitting me off that's numb. Just because like, if, like I, I still can't touch my eyes. It feels so weird to touch my eyes and then it starts stinging and so I just don't touch my eyes. Which is probably a good thing. You shouldn't be touching your eyes anyway. I don't know. Oh, I think that was an eyebrow. It's weird seeing people for the first time. You don't feel like you look normal yet. And it's kind of like people are looking at you and being like, Oh, so this is what you look like post-surgery. Huh. <laughs> but I'm just like being really careful, or at least trying my best not to like judge this as the final product. Because it's not. And I still have swelling to go down. I still have feeling to come back. And I still have quite a bit of orthodontic work to do to like make sure that my teeth are all fitting together and that I have a great bite. It's already so much improved. When I look at pictures of myself I kind of like question whether it was actually that bad. Like I really was quite content with how like I looked and everything. Like the functional side of things only became a serious issue once. Like, I, like it was always an issue prior to braces but straightening my teeth exacerbated it and it was like really really hard to chew things all of a sudden and I know it's not easy to chew things with braces sometimes anyway but like I literally couldn't use my front teeth and sometimes things would like slide out of place and it'd be weird and I mean I haven't experienced what it's like yet to chew so I can't really tell you whether that is much improved or not but like holy crap I reckon it will be miles better than what it was and I'm really excited to chew. And just getting frustrated with the fact that like, I wanna continue my life now and I have to recover. Like, you wanna go out and do things, but you're bloody tired and it's like, okay, gotta go have a nap. Oh, my hair is bugging me. Jeez Louise, man. Oh. Okay, I should just stop the video.